Ethan, we win the tie on, on penalties in the end, 1-1 one, one in regulation time. Just give us your verdict on the overall performance. Uh, yeah, and no, I thought um, first half was uh, good. I think um, we played well in spells in the first half. I think the second half was all right. Um, created a couple chances uh, to potentially win the game. but um, And then the last 20, I'd say, got a bit open and a bit scrappy as you'd expect us going for the win um, and that was the aim at the start of the night but I don't know, we, we didn't manage to complete that but yeah what penalty were you on out of interest uh, I, I I think I was about eight or nine okay. <laughs> um, but yeah no I'm happy to take one yeah. but I mean um, yeah I didn't get the opportunity the boys the boys who stepped up did really well especially Sergeant absolutely yeah yeah really pleased for him so I was going to talk about Stan obviously he's first year apprentice he's come here tonight uh, put himself about when he come on and apparently he was more than happy to take a penalty quite brave no yeah definitely I think that shows a lot about the player a lot about a person and a, you'd expect it from a striker but him being 17 years old that takes a bit of kahunas <laughs> so yeah no he's done well and must be pleased for Josh Andrews as well he's had his injury yeah. concerns and fitness concerns to see him score and a smile back on his face must give the whole whole group a bit to, a bit of a smile too no definitely Josh is a big player for us and uh, to have him out as long as he's been out has been tough um, for him um, for the team but he's he's a he's a very good player and he's a very good target man but he can also run in behind and uh, he does a He's, again scored a great goal tonight and uh, yeah shows what he can do so yeah pleased to have him back and a weekend off I gather what on earth we do with yourself um, this weekend yeah this oh, week have I let the rabbit out yeah, the hat yeah, there yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, right. no, no. <laughs> uh, this, this weekend I'll be chilling out but I mean um, Friday uh, we've got a big day on Friday to get uh, get some fitness stuff done but um, yeah and then crack on with next week straight to Harrogate Lovely. Don't tell anyone else then. That, 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 <laughs> not, no one else knows. Yeah. Matt, Matt Wheels. Well, obviously, it's great to hear that Phil's giving you the weekend off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 he's a first yeah, thing. Um, you matched a, a League One side here, didn't you? And I know that you went through spells where that they had a lot of the ball, but also you had chances in the second half. That must fill you full of confidence. Yeah, no, definitely. I think uh, coming out of Port Vale um, was massive for us to get that win. We needed that under our belts, especially after Swindon drawing that game. We didn't need that. Um, but yeah, uh, we've come out of it the other side, and now we can really push on um, like you said this is a good league one side uh, came here tonight drew and yeah as I said, they're a good team so um, yeah done well done all right a strange event obviously but the, the 90 minutes itself was was really competitive wasn't it I mean you had a strong side out they did too yeah 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 no that's exactly it that's exactly what you need um, especially as we've got the weekend off coming you want to uh, get the <laughs> get the get the minutes in their legs um, and uh, yeah really put out a performance there are players coming back from injury, Josh Anders, but you yourself as well, just a, just a couple of games in. What's it been like for you getting back into the side, I suppose? Uh, yeah, no, I, f I, f I found it all right. Um, I think it's, it's difficult coming in and out, in and out. Um, I've had a few knocks here, there. But, um, yeah, as, as long as I'm, I'm playing and as long as I'm full of confidence, then I feel, I f I feel like I'm... Yeah, there. So, yeah, good. All good. I mean, looking at big picture, obviously you're going to play a lot of games before the end of the season. You, you as a squad, and yeah. you know there are going to be a lot yeah. of games to get through. Is, is ten days off at this time? Is that a good thing for you, almost as a sort of a mid-season break? I think because we've got so many injuries um, with other players. We've got Nev out. We've got. Uh, Daki out still um, we've got Litz out it's, it's a time for us to really um, we've got Hawks as well mentioned there but um, we've got we got um, time to really um, reset again and go again and push on as, as much as you probably want a game this weekend because we're now getting this momentum back and we want to get the momentum back to win game after game after game but um, yeah no, we, can, we can reset and get a good training weekend and as we've heard that you've got the weekend off, any idea what you might do with it? Is it um, the manager would say maybe it's a soccer Saturday, a, a rare one for you all? Or? I think I'll just uh, spend a time with my girlfriend. Um, yeah, she uh, she she would like some time time just me and her, so it'd be nice. Yeah. Family and, and, family and significant others yeah. put up with the lot, don't they? I suppose from a from a footballer's point of view. Or, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. I think um, <laughs> talking about uh, yeah stuff like that, it's 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 difficult for them because we're playing Saturdays, Tuesdays, and we're always just thinking about football. So for the, for, for us to have a weekend off, it's a nice nice for the mind, you could say. But um, yeah, when you're in this season at this point, you want to 
push on and uh, still keep that momentum. So yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. Good stuff. Thank you. It's good for me. Luke. I'm sure your girlfriend's happy that you've got the Saturday off. I mean, as yeah. players, you're doing so well at the minute. Surely you want to sort of keep playing and keep that momentum yeah, building, don't you? Like, like I just said, I think um, it's important to keep that momentum, and you want to keep playing and keep that confidence and um, go into games not thinking you're going to win. And um, yeah, that's that's where we need to be at as a squad. Um, and yeah, I think if we get that back, uh, like we need, then we should be all good. How did it feel as a, as a squad when you were going through that run of defeats? I mean, you almost got the win at Swindon and you ended up yeah. in a draw, last minute yeah. draw. Pretty got in, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Really, really got in. It's really difficult uh, at that point um, because you're, you're, you're scrapping at that point. Um, you're probably not playing your normal game. You, you, you need to dig out a win and that's what we were doing at Swindon. Um, and we came out with a draw at that game. And um, yeah, no, the, the, gaffer, the gaffer and uh, the boys <laughs> Uh, worked well with us over them weeks, gave us confidence, didn't dwell too much on it, and uh, yeah, um, got the result of Port Vale, which was massive. Probably all most looking forward to the Harrogate game already. I yeah. know it's a long way off yet, ten yeah, days yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah, ten days, but yeah, looking looking for that straight away. Uh, looking forward to it and uh, wanting to build momentum and get the win there.